Hey guys, it's Justin again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the Templico Boremaster jig for my Amtec hardware. Uh, right now I'm going to be lining up the one inch drill bit right in line with five inches up, which is going to be perfect for the custom hardware that I need to do. It is very specific, so dialing in the Templico jig is just what I need. So right now I'm going to be drilling the two and one eighth hole. That just goes all the way through. It is such a fast process. I'm just gonna unclick, go to the other side, hook up for the one inch drill bit, and then I'm just gonna drill right through. And that's it for prepping that kind of hardware. And then I'm gonna show you how I'll be routering out the face plates after that. So that's it. I'm gonna loosen it right now, but all you have to do is tighten it Drill your two holes, boom, you're ready to go. On to the next step. Right now, I got this, which is a one by two and a quarter, which is the MTEC striker plate. So this all comes with the bore master kit. This is set up for a one and three eighths door. It perfectly centers where it needs to be. I hammer it onto the door, take the plug out, and then I'm ready to router. So all you need to do is set the depth for the MTEC faceplate. That's it. Plunge, router, take it off, set up for the next one, hammer it on, same process again, router it out, that's it. You're done with that jig. There'll be one more jig later, but you're done with that. Now the MTEC hardware is square, so you wanna use this corner chisel here to square it all off. Other brands, you won't need this at all. You'll actually be done on to the next step. But for this, you use your corner chisel, Score them all out, and after that, you're gonna get a little chisel. You're just gonna clean it up slowly, make sure it's perfect, take your time, and that's it on that. All we wanna do is now check it. Now I'll just show you straight on to show you how easily it slides in after the first time of hammering it in. It is absolutely perfect, check both very happy with the results. I love these jigs. On to the next step. So now I'm installing the latch bore strike center marker. You just press it in, close the door, and then you're just gonna press it into the door jam. It's gonna show you exactly where you need to drill your one inch hole. And you're good to go. It's perfect every single time. That is the benefit of having the proper tools and proper jigs. Things just work so much cleaner. Drill your one inch hole. Now I'll be getting the template for the MTech deadbolt. So this is a two and three quarter high. This just works perfectly in the door jam. I was surprised how nice and tight it all worked out. The benefit of that little plug is you know that's exactly where it needs to go. Once you're happy with it, you hammer off your two little nails once again take the plug out and you router it. And then you'll probably forget, just like I did, that this is a little bit deeper of a plunge, so you just gotta set up for that, not a big deal. Take it off, corner chisel, and you're gonna clean it up with uh, just a normal chisel, and that's it. Um, I don't have the plate on me to check it. The benefit is I know it's gonna be perfect, so that is it's great about having the jigs. Anyways, this was a quick four minute video on how to use the Templico Bore Master. Thank you for watching. Like the video and please subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me. Thank you very much, guys.